Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle.com video show. And this video we're going to look at running DVBS on Media Center in Windows 7 and this video was sent in by Ashley who uh, kindly recorded the, the video. And what's going on here is looking at some of the available channels using FreeSat. Uh, so here in the UK this is picking up FreeSat over DVBS and you can see all the channels available and uh, the great thing about DVBS is the on FreeSat is these are all free uh, subscription free there's no uh, encryption cards or anything else that you need to use and you can get all these uh, channels and uh, you just need a, a dish and a DVBS compatible tuner card and in this there's two uh, Pinnacle 7010iX tuners that have uh, each has 4 DVT and 4 DVS on them and uh, you can see here is looking at BBC HD. It's got the subtitles in as everything else, uh, the uh, digital audio, and uh, all the things you'd expect running running on FreeSat. And you can see that uh, you can scan for. This is how you scan for the the channel. So it's using the Astra transponder. Uh, over DVBS and to have a look at some of the um, the channels that are in here you can see all the standard uh, preset channels including BBC HD and interesting here it shows the different sources of tuners you can use So you can see here that you can use DVBS and DVBT for that one channel. When we were looking at the BBC HD, it was only showing that it was available on the satellite on DVBS. So these are some of the uh, channels that are available in uh, in Freeview. See, there's uh, lots of them. There's uh, all the music channels as well. Uh, two, uh, what 914 listed on here. So getting this going in Media Center is pretty easy. You just need the uh, uh, DVBS FreeSat compatible tuner, which, uh, like I said, the Pinnacle 7010iX is what's, uh, what's being used here, and uh, then you can start using FreeSat with Media Center. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, you'll find more videos on digitallifestyle.com. And many thanks to Ashley for sending the video in, and you can find it on, on his Formula One blog, f1-blog.co.uk.